hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me thank you for coming back to part two of what's in my cabinet so this part two we're going to be talking about the next group of herbs that i have in my cabinet and what basically i do with them and how i use them so if you don't already um if you haven't already checked out my previous videos on part one of what's in my cabinet please check it out and then also the choline cleanse video where i talk about the choline cleanse and what i what i've done in order to clean my colon also check out that it video and i'll be also i'll also be bringing out an update of my colon cleanse so let's get into the video so as you see in front of me now we have four herbs that I've just put a few tablespoons of and these are um, some of the herbs that I have in my cabinet that I use either on a regular weekly or monthly basis to help me either if I maybe I'm feeling a little sick or just to continuously boost up my immune system so we're gonna start with this greenish one sorry not green yellow yellowish buds here and this one is called the camelai tea or the camelai flower and yes i make it into a tea and all of these herbs i just basically i just basically boil two to um four to three to four cups of water in a medium sized pot and then after I have boiled um, the water I add the herbs and then boil the herbs again and um, for a few minutes like maybe 10 minutes or so until like I can see that desired deep color or you know and then I um, let it steep for a few minutes off on low and then after I enjoy my herbs. There are other people who do it differently, but this is how I do it and I've seen that it's it's pretty good and I do see the benefits of it right away. So everyone has their own way of doing it. So like I was saying, this is the camelai flower. These are the buds. And for camelai, what I use it for is mainly when Let's say I, I'm not, I'm unable to sleep, you know, however, Kamalai has many other benefits, but I know one of the main benefits is insomnia, you know, or anxiety. If you drink this herb, you, it gives you that calmness, it, like you feel so calm, you feel relaxed, it relaxes your muscles, it relaxes all parts of your body and then you can see that it literally gets gets you to sleep so whenever i have that feeling of insomnia i'm, I'm not you know focusing i always love to take this camelai and it does the work for me so the next herb that i have here is the burdock so the burdock is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite herbs. I love the taste of it. I love the smell of it. Like whenever I'm boiling just the burdock alone, I can smell, you know, it's just, it smells so earthy and the taste is so smooth. I just love burdock. So this is um, the one I bought in the, at the herb store. And then you also have this one too, which I'm going to show you. It's like a long a green, like a long um, woody. This is the burdock root. As you can see over here, the burdock root. It's a long stem. I got it about a mm, dollar, let's say 60. Yeah, a dollar 60 for this. And this is, you can also make tea with this one also. It just obviously needs like washing and, you know, the preparation and stuff. But you can make tea, you can add it to your stir fry, 
you know any of this you can juice it also so if you are if you are kind of like on the budget and on a budget and you want something you know a herb that's cheap and you know you can kind of manipulate it how you want definitely get the burdock the roots as you can tell here it's pretty long you know and so the burdock i love the burdock because of what it helps cleanse your system the minerals are also amazing with the burdock and it's something you can have like on an everyday basis you know if i don't have burdock if i don't drink burdock i always like crave for it or like i feel as if i'm missing out i really love the taste it doesn't have a bitter taste like some of the other herbs and it's just something like i said you can have on an everyday basis it has lots of minerals it literally cleans out a lot of your um your the, your system like your kidneys your liver all of those that you want to be function functioning the burdock is amazing with that so over here we have the sas sarsaparilla i hope i'm saying that right but yeah so the sarsaparilla i have uh it's okay to be honest however it's one of the the number one the number one herb that has number one iron you know when you it's loaded with iron you know this is one if you're like anemic or you're going through especially us women who go through our menstrual cycle and we lose a lot of our minerals and stuff this herb the sarsaparilla will definitely help you replenish and um, increase your iron and you can never go wrong when you have natural iron when you intake natural from the earth iron so the sarsaparilla number one i like to combine it with the burdock and also another herb is not here called the dandelion now those three when you take them is is a great iron booster you will definitely feel your inside you know it's detoxing your inside for you um so definitely the sasper is one of the herbs that is in my um my cabinet okay and we're gonna move on to the this one called the cascara sagara it's like a bunch of um like a tree barks but let me tell you the cascara is like um it is a colon cleanse i use it for um to clean my colon i don't use it often because it definitely does the work for you it will strip your colon in terms of all the gunk all the waste all that doesn't need to be there it will take it away you know without having harmful side effects that's what i love about the cascara however this cascara is a very bitter herb extremely extremely bitter so it's not one of my favorite but it's one of those type of herbs you have to have it because of the benefit that it gives you so i definitely take it out pretty much like once every three to four months when i'm about to do my colon cleanse cascara is definitely one of the herbs i must have in my in in the tonic that i do so thank you guys for coming and watching once again um what's in my cabinet and like I said, I'll be doing a series on this so that um, you can also know what type of herbs are out there if you don't know. And also do your research to find out which herbs um, go with your body. Because to be honest, not all herbs you want to take because you can have an allergic reaction or any type of reaction. So it's really good to um, take time. And research each herb and so that's what I've done I've taken time out of my day and research each of these herbs that I'm coming to you with and I've tested them on myself to know that 
they, I'm compatible. They're compatible with my body, and the results are amazing. Thank you once again for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.